everybody, Sean Gavin, Tucker USA. Just want to take a couple minutes to show you the DI Saber feature on the Rival V2. So this is a brand new Rival V2 cart. I'm going to go ahead and hook up the water to the inlet and show you how it functions in terms of the uh, DI Saber. The inlet to the cart is up here on your pre-filter. Simply connect your water supply. This uh, pre-filter as well as the RO is installed out of the box from us. Your DI filter is in the box and you'll want to install that yourself. It's uh, sealed in, in the package for uh, freshness so we don't install them right away because we never know when you're going to get it and when to utilize it. So I'm going to turn our water on to the system. You always want to have at first your uh, bypass valve in the open position. So your bypass valve is right here on this unit. We'll have that in the open position which is up and down which means all of the water is going to flow out of the bottom of the system out your bypass line at first. So you can see the filter is uh, filling up here. We use clear housings so you can uh, visually see what's going on with all those. And the water is beginning to flow out of the bottom of the uh, bypass line. Got a handheld TDS meter here, which also comes with the system. After a couple of seconds, what you're going to want to do is close your bypass line, and with the VI saver bracket pointing to the RO position, the water in the production mode is going to come out of this male garden hose fitting. So it will come out here rather than going to your DI filter. So we'll go ahead and close down our bypass valve on our RO. You'll see the water at the bottom there will flow a lot less as we now are making water and we will produce some up here in the RO port right here on the uh, male garden hose thread. It'll take a moment for this to build up. It's got to fill with water to get to the top. Especially being a brand new unit, you've got uh, a lot of air in there. So now you can see we're making water. We're going to test the water right out of that port right away. It's reading 50 parts per million. So when this RO filter is working optimally in our location, this is going to be under 20 and many times under 10. So if we didn't have it in the RO only position, dumping the water out of the system, it would be flowing to the DI and the DI would have to get rid of this 50 parts per million, which is what we consider TDS creep, where the TDS is initially higher than after a few minutes of production mode. So we'll check this again. We're already down to 23, so it doesn't take very long for this to really get to where it's optimally making water. We're down to 20, so the longer we wait, the longer our DI filter is going to last. So what I tell people is, put it in our own only mode, then go ahead and set up your, your tucker reel, run that hose out, get your pole off the truck or off the van, get that all set up. And by the time you've done all that, the TDS creep has dropped all the way down. We'll check this again. Make sure not to pick up any contaminants off of housing or anything like that. Now we're down to 14. So at our facility right now, we're probably going to get down to around 10. So this gives you an idea. So once you've seen that drop to that point, you can either use just the RO water if you're under 10 parts per million and clean spot free not even utilizing your DI at all, or you can switch it to the DI mode and it will send that water to the DI filter. Let me check it one last time, see if it's dropped any more for us. And now we're at eight. So we could, hypothetically, just hook up our hose reel to here. You lay your cart down, hook up your hose reel, and work off RO only, having no cost of maintenance on your DI filter in this location for this job. But now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll put it into DI mode, you'll see it stops here. It will fill this housing. This housing is brand new, so it'll take a couple minutes. I don't know if we'll wait through the whole video for that, but this will have to fill now, and then your RODI water will come out of here. At the end of every job, you wanna be sure to flush the system. So to flush this system, 
basically all you're going to do is you're going to open that bypass valve. It then will release all the back pressure that's been building in here in production mode where the water was coming out of RO or RODI and it will then allow you to flush the system cleansing all the built up minerals that are in the in the filter out giving you the optimal life on this filter two, three, four years optimally. So we'll go ahead and open this. If you can see the bottom, you'll see the pressure increases for a moment. And worth noting, you saw the flow coming out of the RO only port here. And this is plenty of water to clean up 30, 35 feet. And our pressure here is only 32 PSI. So low pressure at this building. You're getting a lot of water out of these membranes here at Tucker uh, at even very low pressures. So again, in order to stop the production, you simply open your bypass valve all the way up. You'll see it stops flowing for the most part of your RO valve, and now you flush the system. So if you have any other questions on the DI saver bracket from Tucker or TDS Creek, feel free to give us a call or reach out to us directly. Thank you very much.